today you'll be creating a dragon eye out of model magic clay. You'll get one packet, this paper, some ideas, markers, um, these, and one of these eye shapes. I ordered these little crystals off of Amazon. When you pick your color, think about whether you want to use the colors that you see in the eye or if you want to do something really different. So like this artist has a bright blue eye with orange and it really stands out. The first thing to do is open your Model Magic Clay and use your scissors to cut it into three pieces. One part will be the base, one will be the eyelid, and the other will be all the details. Now to start off with your base, you're gonna just grab it, roll it into a little ball, and then squish it into a pancake. Use this little paper to help you with the size and the shape, unless you decide you want it to be like a triangle or something like one of these. Now you're ready for part two, which is the eyelid. And this is where it gets really fun. You are actually going to be dyeing your Model Magic Clay with marker. You make a flat pancake and color both sides with any color marker. Then twist, pull, and mix that clay together until the color gets worked in. Some people like to keep it kind of uh, marbly. That looks beautiful. Some people like to keep going until it's all one smooth color, but you can see it's not as dark as the marker. So red will end up being more like light red. Orange will be light orange. Black will end up like gray. You get the idea. Now take that color that you made, spread it out into a pancake that kind of matches your base, and you're gonna get a pair of scissors and just cut it right down the middle. This is your eyelid. Now take your eyeball. Um, and you can see this is one that's a similar color. And this is one that's really different. I kind of actually like using a different color. I think it stands out. Push it onto your base and you're just gonna put your eyelid on top like this. I'm curving it a little bit. You can spread it out. Um, you can use a stick or a pencil to add little wrinkles around the eye. I actually didn't like that, so I smoothed it out again. But that can make it look really ancient and wise. Once you like the shape, this is part three. This is where it gets really interesting decorations. Here are a couple of options. But first, I'm gonna color all these little bits just to make this easier. I would choose analogous colors, colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, like red, orange, yellow, or green, blue, purple, or purple, blue, red. And then of course, black and white and brown are neutral and they go with anything. One decoration you can make is a coil. A coil is like a little snake that you roll. You can put these around the eye. You can also curl it around to create a spiral. Another technique is scales. Scales are just little balls. The more you make of them, the better it'll look. You can make really tiny ones. You can make really big ones. I recommend rolling a ton of them and then you can just pop them on. You can make spikes. A spike is just a ball for a scale. And then you squeeze one side, roll it a little bit, and squeeze two. So it's pointy on one end. I'm going to do a couple of giant spikes. I think that looks cool. But you can also make spiky scales. The next thing I'll show you is a twist. That's where you roll uh, two little snakes. I recommend different colors. Just twist them together just like this. Now I am totally making this up as I go, but just think about balance. If there's a lot going on on the top, try adding some spikes or swirls or things on the bottom to balance it out. You can repeat the same kind of thing over and over again. You can add details. I'm adding a big green leaf. I think it'll contrast to the eye. You can also draw on top of this with marker to make the colors a little bit brighter. The marker will diffuse. That means it kind of spreads out a little bit as it dries. And you can also use a pencil or a stick to add even more like dots, lines, or textures. If you finish this today, write your name on the back with a marker and your class, please. I will hit it up with some shiny sealer in a day or two when it's dry. If they are not finished, it's gonna go in a Ziploc bag with your name on it and your class to be finished really soon. Have fun.